So the disaster that we can see here is due to the fact that no one is playing the game anymore. Everyone stopped playing. So the servers are going down. And this guy right here is Asmongold. He is the last player because he's rich. He's got money. And he doesn't care about canceling his subscription. So he still plays the game despite the fact that everyone else stopped playing. But, you know, there, there's like this nostalgic feeling. It's, it's almost like this game helped him make his brand and build his community app. So he wants to save the game. Which is why at first he's looking around a little bit confused, but he notices that no one else is there but him. Like, no one gives a shit about Blizzard Entertainment. Everyone has already moved away. Everyone has already gone. So there's there's no one else that that can try to bring the players back. It's, it's all up to him. He is the last person playing, as I mentioned before. So... He realized, hold on a little bit. I have this powerful artifact. I got my Twitch channel. And I can go on my platform. And I can talk about World of Warcraft in order to re-spark the interest. In order to bring people back to this wonderful game. And it's a perilous journey that he takes alone. And as we can see, he's, he's close to log again to his account, to raising awareness that this game's still worth playing, and it's a nostalgic journey, which has powerful emotions that speak to him. Right here, he is looking at the tits of Sylvanas. This is what the Blizzard Entertainment Chief Diversity Officer did to them. This is how they butchered them, and uh, you can see Asmogold's face of eternal concern. Like, oh my god, what they did to this game, but... You know what? It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, it's still World of Warcraft. It's still the game that he liked. So, he's going to ignore this debauchery. He's going to ignore this heresy. And he is still going to push on. He still has a job to do. He still needs to raise awareness. And right here, you can see how he logs onto his Twitch account. He's just going to make a video. He's going to tell people that this game is still worth playing. But as we see here, something happens. Like, something isn't working. Apparently, he needs to do more. He needs to do something very risky in order to bring the community back together. He needs to make a more spicy video. He needs to have the edge that he once had when he started this channel. He needs to be able to speak his mind freely. And that, that is going to be very costly. But it's okay. It's okay because it's World of Warcraft. It's the game he grew up. And, and this is him struggling to make that video, struggling to push that message. Using his own body like Thor did in Marvel. He's trying to bring the community back together. He's making that video and he is talking about Alex Traza's boobies. It's like, look guys, you need to come back and play because like Alex Traza has boobies in this game. But unfortunately, the mods on Twitch do not like this type of behavior. Maybe... He showed a picture of Dr. Disrespect. Uh, maybe he talked about boobs and in the future you're not allowed to do that on Twitch anymore. And the Twitch admins have struck him down. Have pushed him down. Unfortunately, this is the end for Asmogold. He, he has said something naughty on the ever censorious Twitch platform. And it seems that this is the end. However... What happens at the very last moment is that Susan Wojcinski has rescued him. Susan Wojcinski allows Asmogol to come back on YouTube where he can actually speak his mind without quaking and shivering in fear that his milquetoast opinions might actually offend the powers that be at Jeff Bezos' corporation. And here you can have Asmogol for the first time in many, many years enjoying life again, enjoying the ability to speak his mind. Look, this water here symbolizes the element of life. He feels that he is alive again. And at the same time, it symbolizes the powerful emotions as he pisses his eyes crying. Cries of happiness and joy. That he has the, the freedom that he never experienced in years. And now you have all the colors of the rainbow aligning. 
because this this is still a progressive platform even if you're on youtube it's still very progressive but but it's not as progressive as twitch like here for example you can criticize the boob level of silvana you can watch a video from my channel without getting in trouble because you clearly can't do that on twitch i have seen but all jokes aside isn't watching my video more entertaining than this garbage cinematic I mean, don't get me wrong, I know that World of Warcraft has been bad for a couple of years now, but at least the expansion cinematics were interesting. This has to be the worst cinematic that I have ever seen, so nothing actually happens in it, if you think about it. It's uh, just this, this object, this, this artifact, which to me is esoteric in nature, I never heard it being mentioned before. Okay, maybe it's in the lore and I just don't know about it, but... You got this watcher that you have absolutely no attachment to. Like, who is this guy? Do I care? Not really. And he wakes up and he climbs some stairs very dramatically. And then they literally rip off the scene from Marvel. I mean, this is actually copied. I, I wish I would have the Marvel scene with Thor trying to reforge his hammer. But can't do so because the Star Forge is broken. So he actually has to go there using his own body. In order to power the thing up. This is literally stolen from Marvel. That The only thing that, that I'm not surprised is that this guy doesn't say. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And then throws himself down. At least put Asmogold. Like if, if they if Blizzard would have put Asmogold. This trailer would have been better. Just put his face on. You know like make him do some grimaces. Some, some facial expressions. Wiggle the eyebrows or some shit. And then it would actually be more entertaining. Not to mention dragons. Dragons. I mean, it's World of Warcraft. We had dragons before. This is not new. We had dragons in Wrath of the Lich King. We had dragons in Cataclysm. We, we had dragons. I mean, the Emerald Dream would have been more interesting. Instead of just doing one raid about it. Like, you could have actually had that as a zone. That, that would have been fucking cool. Uh, you could have had done uh, the Azol Nerub Empire rather than have just a five-man dungeon. That would have been cool. The revisiting Northrend, that would have been interesting. Instead, you get this. I, I mean, uh, whatever. You know, the trailer itself is just not interesting. Like, nothing happens. No one is fighting. No one is doing anything. It's just a guy climbing up some stairs. I guess trying to, to hold the community back together. And that's it. This, this is what Blizzard is now. This is what Blizzard is. I, I guess they're trying not to be offensive? What, what exactly are we looking at here? Yeah, like if, if they're going for being the least offensive trailer ever, congratulations, you have done it. Yes, but at the same time, it's not interesting either. It's not intriguing in the slightest. This doesn't make me want to come back and play the game. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.